Well, Tom, the list of companies that have cut ties or taken benefits away from National Rifle Association members after those Parkland shootings, it continues to grow. MetLife will stop providing discounts for auto and home insurance. Major car rental companies, including Hertz and Enterprise and Avis, say they'll no longer offer deals to NRA members. And United Airlines and Delta also say they will no longer offer lowered rates to NRA members. Now for Delta, the implications run deep. The airline could lose millions and millions of dollars if lawmakers decide not to pass a fuel tax break after they cut ties with the NRA. As Fox 5's Claire Sims reports tonight from the state capitol, that fuel tax break is tied to tax cuts for regular Georgians as well. But this bill is being held up by Delta by big corporations. From the Senate floor to Twitter, the buzz at the state capitol is all about Delta's weekend decision to sever ties with the National Rifle Association. The Atlanta-based airline says it will no longer offer discounts to NRA members traveling to the association's annual meeting. The decision, Delta says, reflects the airline's neutral status in the current national debate over gun control amid recent school shootings. The issue is when you take a company and single them out, there's a a lot of controversial companies that Delta gives a discount to. If you take a company and single them out, then I think that's wrong on their part. And that, members of the Senate say, is why they must now decide whether to approve a fuel tax credit for the company. The problem for lawmakers is that the Delta tax language is embedded in a bill designed to give everyday Georgians a tax break. Members of the House approved the legislation last week. Now the Senate must decide what to do next. I'm not going to say what we're looking at. I mean, we're looking at a lot of things right now, and I'm one of a 56 in the Senate. We're coming to a consensus on the path forward, and that's what we'll do. But some Senate Democrats, like Elena Parent, applaud Delta's decision to part ways with the NRA and think lawmakers should consider the tax issue separately. What my colleagues need to keep in mind is large companies do not take actions like that unless they recognize that giving affiliation with um, controversial organizations and giving them special treatment is more threatening to their bottom line than anything else. Senate leadership wouldn't say what their timeline is for reaching a consensus on the Delta issue, but they did say that they would like to pass the tax break for citizens sometime soon. And this has become such a talker here at the state capitol, it's even entered the 2018 governor's race. I'll have more from the candidates coming up in our next hour. Reporting at the state capitol, Claire Sims, Fox 5 News.